what is good I'm back with another video and today it is currently let's see it is October 1st Thursday 6 30 p.m. and yesterday I got my first in my truck so this video pretty much gonna be about like how the pandemic changed my life like I want to talk about how the pandemic just changed my whole entire perspective how I act how I think what I do and I know it's gonna be some people out there that had different experiences but I just want to talk about my experience um, so first hold on I want to apologize about the wind noise. If it's wind noise, I apologize. It's kind of windy, but I got something for the microphone, but I don't know if it worked. So I want to apologize like in the beginning. And right now I am outside, I'm home. This is where I'm at. This is my view right now. Good energy. very very good energy i love coming outside i love just interacting with nature just like seeing and thinking about like how did all of this stuff come to be but pretty much yesterday was you know pretty crazy for me um i just got my first semi truck so i got the truck from connecticut i flew from Detroit, Michigan to Connecticut. I got a video on this page showing the whole entire process of how I did it. And if you wanna watch that, it'll be, I might add it to this video, but just go look for buying my first semi truck. Um, and pretty much what I need you to do is I need you to like this video because if you like this video, it's gonna help me get into the YouTube algorithm. And if I get into the YouTube algorithm, what it's gonna do is recommend my videos to people who watch videos like you. So everything is in your control. You know what I'm saying? If you like this video, it's gonna help one other person see it, then they gonna help somebody else see it, and then this is gonna be a domino effect, and then one day, millions of people will watch my videos. But that's later down the line but today is october 1st 2020 six o'clock ish p.m around that time um and i just got my first semi truck i drove it from connecticut to michigan i got to michigan today at about 1 30 p.m and after this video i'm gonna go inside and i'm gonna write as well to just document all of this energy that I'm receiving right now because energy is your power. I need you to understand that energy is your power. Write that down, memorize that, repeat that to yourself as many times as possible so you can begin to always have that in your mind. Energy is your power. When you learn how to concentrate your energy on certain things, you gain control of the world around you. And the pandemic really, uh, let me sit down. The pandemic really changed my life because I began to pay attention to things that I didn't pay attention to before. Like, I began to watch the news and I don't ever watch the news. But the news only talks about certain things and they only offer you a certain perspective. So what I started to do was just watch the news and then go do my own research and every single time, like 10 times out of 10, every single time I went and I did my own research, it was always another side to the story and it was always something that they were leaving out. And I'm talking like these news channels are getting millions and millions of viewers per day. So they have control over people's energy and they're directing people's energy to what they want it directed towards and they're using it to control the masses the pandemic literally changed my life because i was already like a researcher because i went to college i got my degree in psychology so 
I will always write papers. I will always read research papers. I will always look at data, compare, contrast. So I don't believe things I hear right away. But there are some things that I just cancel out of my reality because I don't want it to affect me. And news is so negative. The news channel, they never talk about anything positive. So if you feed your mind with that negativity, what's going to happen is you're going to start to attract negative things. And these negative things are going to begin to manifest at a rapid rate. And you're going to end up in situations that could have been prevented or could have been changed and that you know you may end up regretting. So pretty much what started to happen was like I opened my mind up to that world of news because of everything that was going on the government telling you, you got to wear a mask telling you you got to be in the house by a certain time telling you, you can't travel so i'm thinking like i really have this is another thing i learned as humans we don't have as much control as we think the way they shut the world down this year i mean i understand it was for a health crisis but there's a lot of questions that need to be answered and there's a lot of lies that have been told. So how do we know what's true and what's not true? Now, don't misconstrue my words and, and, and try to make it seem like, you know, I'm downplaying what has happened. I'm just saying that there's a lot of holes in what has happened. And people are saying different things. People are being muted. And you gotta move a certain way. And if you don't agree with something that the masses do, then you will be canceled, you will be ostracized, you will become the black sheep. And that's how, the, that's how they control people. And when you are under the influence of someone, and you are under the influence of um, something that you aren't aware of, a lot of your actions that you do and a lot of the thoughts that you think aren't really coming from you they're coming from that influencer that's why the social media stuff is is really crazy because influencers have so much control over a large amount of people and they can direct energy they can control energy when you learn how to direct your energy that's why they create all these distractions because they don't want people to know what your power is and your power is your ability to concentrate your consciousness and your conscious mind you have to understand that they want you to start to fall in love with instant gratification because they understand that in the real world things don't come instantly that's why things like Amazon Prime was created things like streaming was created things like DoorDash are created because they want you to become lazy and they want you to give your energy to them who is them who knows who them are the people at the top the influencers the big companies the 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 people who control all of the money because if you can keep society suppressed and you can remove their energy and take their energy away then you can direct how they operate in the society. Something happened this year where they had to like reset and we're going into a new, a, a new direction. It's about to be like a new world order. If you just pay attention, things are becoming more and more virtual. Now they want kids studying at home from a computer. So they want to remove people from each other. They want people to become less interactive and it's crazy to watch it's crazy to watch and it's crazy to even speak about because some people gonna say oh you crazy you don't know what you're talking about that's a conspiracy theory no it's not a conspiracy theory it's an observation i'm just making an observation and this is how the pandemic changed me it made me realize that the unexpected is more common than the expected you can have this two-year plan or this five-year goal but so many things are out of your control that all you can do is focus on what you can
can control. And what do I mean by that? I mean, you have to take control of the inner world, the world that's inside of you, your mind, your heart, your body, your thoughts. Those are the things that you can control. And once you understand how to control those things, what you are going to do is build a reality around the world that you created in your mind. And it's going to take time. It's not going to be easy. It's not going to be easy to get rid of distractions. And it's not going to be easy to be patient. They don't want you to value patience. They don't want that. They don't. That's why they give you things instantly because as a society, we are starting to hate waiting. We don't like to wait. No one likes to wait anymore. People want to blow up overnight. They want to build businesses overnight. They want to graduate college overnight. They want to do so many things overnight, but that's because that is the standard that the world is setting. Now we can just pull out our phone literally pull out my phone and go from YouTube so this is this is this is YouTube <laughs> and look what pops up CNN news while I'm talking about news how crazy is that CNN pops up rolls a tape on Trump I hardly know him defense. <laughs> it's crazy, right? And look, I can go from watching YouTube to Netflix. I can go from Netflix to Instagram. I can go from Instagram to ordering food. So I want you to know how not normal that is because Every single action that I just performed activated a different area of my brain and a different set of neurons in my brain. So now, the fact that I can go from one thing to another, to another, to another, that trains my mind to desire that for everything in life. So now, oh, I can... But you don't know you're doing this. You don't know you're, you're, you're being subconsciously programmed to believe that everything in life is happening like this. You can call somebody. You can text somebody instantly. 20 years ago, it was, no, I was, okay, 30 years ago. I don't even think emails existed. I don't even think text messages, messages existed. Or if they did, they weren't as common as they were now. Some people don't even answer their phone because you can just text me. It's instant. So the pandemic is teaching me that you can't follow the you can't follow the herd. Most of the world, literally 95% of the world, has a herd type of mentality. People follow the same things. People think the same things. And if you don't agree with the norm, then you're crazy. You're stupid. You're not like us. All of these things to prevent you from being mentally free. They want to mentally trap you. That's why as you, I didn't take one art class in college, not one. I didn't take one creative thinking class in college, not one. I didn't take one class on the universe and thought power and thought control, things like that, not at all. I took psychology classes, but those were formal education type classes that didn't really teach me much on the real world and on the outside world. So I took psychology because it was the closest thing to creative thinking and learning how to problem solve that I could find and that fit my personality. I'm not good at engineering and Mathematics. I'm a creative thinker. I'm a free thinker. And I wanted to understand how my mind worked and why people thought or why people think the way they do. Because everything is mindset. Everything. 
everything is mindset. And a lot of people don't understand that. Two people can be in the same position, but end up in two completely different places five years later because one had a certain mindset and the other one didn't. So what I learned is like, okay, we in a pandemic, right? Back to what this video is about, how the pandemic changed my life. The pandemic changed my life because I realized like, okay, everybody is focusing on this virus. Everybody is beginning to live in fear. Everybody is, you know, looking for a way to get income because if you weren't, a, what is it called, a, a emergency worker or, um, I, I can't think of the name right now, emergency worker or oh, frontline worker. If you weren't a frontline worker, then your business was probably closed. So it made people think like, you know, I have to depend on the government for money because millions of people were filing for unemployment. Think about that, 20 million, 30 million, 40 million people applying for unemployment, which lets you know that people are more dependent on the government than they realize. Most of society is dependent on the government. They shut your work down, then they made you go to them for aid. I really think, I really started to think like, wow. And I'm not saying that this wasn't serious. I'm not saying that this wasn't real. I'm not saying any of that. What I'm saying is like, it made me think of like, okay, let me focus my attention somewhere else. So it was, while it was a pandemic for everybody else, I was in my own world. And it wasn't really a pandemic for me because I read over 20, 30 books in a pandemic. I wrote a book in a pandemic. I, I saved up money and now, you know, I don't know for exiting the pandemic or if it's, you know, gonna continue longer, but I bought a truck in a pandemic. I learned more about myself in a pandemic. I invested in myself in a pandemic. I started to put myself first. I started to just observe and learn about people. So the pandemic helped me grow and it turned me into someone or it turned me into a, a higher version of myself, a better version of myself mentally, spiritually, emotionally, physically. That's what the pandemic did for me, but I understand that it's some people who it impacted. They lost family members, they lost you know, they lost their lives. They, you know, they lost their jobs. You know, they lost hope. So I understand that this pandemic, it had a different effect for it, for every single person. But I believe in God and I believe in a purpose and I believe that things happen for a reason. So all I can do is just focus on myself and what happened for me. Thankfully, I don't know one person that was affected by coronavirus personally. I don't know one person, not one person in my family, immediate family, cousin, friend, no one I know had coronavirus. And that's a blessing because there's family members who everyone got it. But for me, this pandemic was a life changing experience because my mindset shifted. I have a completely different mindset exiting. Like I said, I don't know if we're exiting this pandemic. It's like a standstill. It's like a stall. Well, at this point in the pandemic, my mindset is complete. I feel like a new person because I took time away from social media. I read 20 books. I wrote a book. I learned about the stock market. I made money in the stock, thousands of dollars in the stock market. And then I used money that I saved up to buy a truck, an asset that's going to create passive income for me because I found a driver to drive it for me and then next few months I won't say the next few months but next year my goal is to buy a house so it's like I use this situation of panic and chaos I used all of that energy to turn it into something positive in my life and that's the thing you got to understand as humans we absorb energy and we radiate with energy 
So while all of this chaos and crazy stuff is going on in the world, it's affecting us invisibly. It's invisibly affecting us because energy, you can't see it. You know what I'm saying? So I use just all of the chaos, all of the energy, all of the thoughts, the vibrations. And I just took a step back and I started to do my own research. And I started to learn, like, okay, like, you don't believe everything you see in the media. You don't believe things you hear. You ask questions. Why? How? Okay, please explain further. So when I hear things, I don't automatically assume that it's true. Never. I never assume that things are true. Now, that doesn't mean that they are false, but I don't automatically assume that it's true. I find out more first. And that's what I did with this pandemic. I still don't know what I need to know because people of high rankings are saying different things. So it's like, what do you know? What, what, what do you know is real? All you can do is create your own truth in this reality because everybody gonna have the idea of what's real and what's not. And at the end of the day, our perception and our, our mindset affects everything around us. So yeah, man, I just wanted to make this video for real, just to talk about like how the pandemic has affected me. Because you know, everybody had their own experiences, but I'm really using this year to just document in different ways. I'm recording, I'm writing, I'm taking pictures. I'm doing a lot of things to just capture these moments in time because that's all you can do. Memories is everything. So yeah, before I end this video, if you made it to this part of the video, I need you to, I need you to like because it's gonna help me get into the YouTube algorithm. I appreciate it. And then I need you to subscribe. And then if you know somebody who can relate to this video, I need you to share it to them. Your closest friend, your brother, your sister, your mom, your dad. You know what I'm saying? I just want to share and send some positive energy in this negative world we live in. And a lot of people, you know what I'm saying, they allow the outside world to affect them and they become negative, but I'll never do that. I always try to find positive in the negative. So whatever you thinking of doing in this world, you can do. Whatever you want to manifest, you can manifest. Whatever you want to be, you can be. Anything is possible. And you can believe anything that your mind conceive. So yeah, I just want to end this video, man, saying if you made it all the way here, I really appreciate it. Any support, any love, all of that stuff, man, is, it goes a long way. And I got a lot of gratitude, you know, for that. And I understand the importance of patience. Never fall a victim to instant gratification. That's another thing. So, man, I just, you know, wanted to make this video on how the pandemic <laughs> really affected me. And, uh, yeah, I'm going to end this video on this view right here, man. It's a nice little view. Sit out here for a little bit longer. Meditate a little bit. Write a little bit. And then end it on that note, man.